Hi guys! Um, right, I've got a few videos coming up for you today but I'm just going to get on with it because I've got about 25 minutes and 3 or 4 videos to make. I'm not necessarily going to put more up tonight, um, I might kind of stagger them over the next week because I'm, I've been kind of coming home and videoing and I'm, I'm not having any like evening a lot to myself because I come home video and then I sit on YouTube and reply to messages and comments etc etc so it's kind of taking over so I'm going to try and stagger them a little bit. So my first video is going to be on some new Miner's Lip Tints that I've received. Um, I do get them because um, I'm on like a press whatever it's called um, so I kind of I'm just sent them um, for free when they come out but obviously I'm going to give you an honest review. These are the Lip Tints it says brighten up and moisturise with Miner's Tint O Tint. Tin O Tint. They're £2.99 each and yeah, so that's like kind of like the little advertising thing. Anyway, so I've got all three of them. The watermelon, the cherry, and the vanilla. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with vanilla. Anything that smells like vanilla I love. And this smells absolutely gorgeous. They've all got a little tint to them. That's like a pale, pale, pale pink. This is a darker, like a raspberry. It's cherry, but you know, it looks like a raspberry colour. And this is the one I have on now. Just like that. I'll show you the different colours. So this one I have on now, that's the watermelon. I'll get the cherry one, which looks like it would be a lot darker. Look at that on my finger. It's really quite, it's not just tinted, it's almost a lipstick. But it feels really nice. If you remember from my other review um, of some minor stuff, when they had the lip gloss, again, I felt, I, like on my lips it felt really, really nice. It was like, we've added this mini. Um, I've since given one of those away to one of my friends and she really likes it as well. It just feels so nice. And this is the same, so you get, a, you get some kind of colour, um, but it's creamy on your lips, it's really nice. And the vanilla one, oh, it just looks so cute. I barely want to touch it. This one will be living in my handbag. No doubt. This one, I don't imagine it's going to have an awful lot of colour. But it would probably pale out your lips for like a nude. It's not going to get much on my... I'm not going to get much colour on my hand, I don't think. There, look. Like a pale, pale, pale colour. But it smells so good. So this one smells like cherry. Mm, no, this one smells like watermelon. But this one smells like vanilla. And this one smells like cherry. They all smell really, really cute. And they feel really nice on your mouth. So that was my little review of these little tinno tints. I'm obsessed with lip balms as it is. So anything lip balm I really, really like. Um, but these are really, really cute um, and kind of nice to keep in your bag. But the one lip balm that I've never, ever been without is vanilla flavoured. Well, I say flavoured. It does smell nice. And it actually kind of tastes nice as well. But it's a Johnson's one. And I've struggled to kind of find, struggled to find um, one to replace it. Although I absolutely do love this. It's still not the same <laughs> as the um, Johnson's vanilla one. I, I'm really only going for the the smell. Obviously I've only actually got one on my mouth um, to kind of test. But smell wise there's nothing that beats the Johnson's one that I've got. I'll always continue to buy that. But I've, I've pretty much got through every single vanilla scented product that there is. So I'm really really grateful to have received these. If nothing else for this one. Whereas these ones are actual colours. So that's really cute. Especially for like summer and sunbathing etc etc. So hope you like my review. If you've got any questions please let me know. I'll put the link to where you can buy them below. And yeah, I'll get on with the rest of the videos for you. Bye!